On this episode of Dade City Motocross, the Vortex Light Series debuts at round two and begins a 10 race championship. In the Sponsors Cup class, teammates fight it out for the top step of the podium and Corey Keelan asserts himself as a title contender in 2011. Vortex Sponsors Cup Lights Series is a stepping stone in the Sponsors Cup class. The Lights class is a shorter, 10 race series to give the up and coming riders a taste of what to expect when they step up to the next level. For Robert Devon Albat, he will defend his Lights title while chasing the RealMotocross.com Sponsors Cup. My name is Robert Devon Albat, I'm 17 years old and I'm from Cross Pond in England. I think it's been five years since I've, I've been over here. I came over when I was 13 years old on vacation, and then from then on we decided to try and move out here. So I'd say overall it's been a good four or five years now. You know, my dad is a big part of my motocross. He, he's, he's what started me with it, and, and he's, you know, he's supported me my whole life. Uh, my mom too, you know, she's been there at the track every weekend. My sister, I never see her from the moment she steps out of the truck, but I know she's always there watching me race. Um, it's something I used to do years ago as a kid and I gave him the opportunity to try it and unfortunately he liked it, so here we are. Uh, yeah, back in England when Robert was racing, uh, he, he was a pretty good rider. Um, wasn't brilliant, but he was pretty good. It all started off when I really started believing myself and started winning races. I, you know, I really thought, I can be, I can be someone at this. And it, and it kind of just it followed through and me and Dad saw it both. You know, the racing was getting better, the results were getting better, and it just led us into pushing harder and going to bigger races. You know, I've had some broken bones here and there, broken arms, leg, you know, the, the same old collarbones, but back in 2008 was my most serious, you know, crash and injury I've ever had. It was uh, it was back in England at a national. I lost the back end and it high-sided me so bad, I ended up 50 feet down the hill um, with a mangled elbow. And I'll tell you, evidence right here that I had this massive scar that runs all the way down. And it took about five surgeries and two weeks for me to get out of the hospital. I was anemic, um, the, the arm was infected. After that, it, it was it was six months um, kind of getting in rehab and getting it strong again. And then an additional three months until my dad would let me ride. I had to, I had to accomplish 100 push-ups and 25 pull-ups before he'd even let me get back on the bike. What really honestly has happened is it's gone from dad wanting it to Robert wanting it and now he really, really is improving, especially having the opportunity now he's graduated, he can ride and train. But that, that's the difference. With riders like Ryan Dungey on the Rockstar Makita Suzuki team and James Stewart on the L&M Yamaha, plus many other world-class riders using Vortex products. Vortex has firmly planted itself at the top of the list when it comes to sprockets, handlebars, and other parts and accessories. Vortex is the title sponsor of the Light Series and has helped the next generation of racers break into the professional realm one sprocket at a time. We have a lot of vertical mills, we have some pallet stuff, we have lathes, you know, we have a rapid prototype machine. It, the rapid prototype machine is small, it's about the size of a soda machine. You can send a drawing to it, it makes an exact plastic copy. You know, we have an automated saw out there. We have set up guys, they'll go set up the machines. There's probably, you know, a thousand different ways to make the same part. And it's finding the best way to make it where 
You can make it fast enough, but where your tolerance is still good. You can also make a part where the dimensions are perfect, but the finishes, you know, they just don't look good. good. Maybe it fits the bike, but the design doesn't look good. And then of course, stress analysis. You don't want to make a part where, yeah, this looks really cool, and then they all break when someone's using it. You know, I've, I've known Randy for years, and you know, I, I've never seen anyone go through such great lengths for just a local motocross race to bring it to that level. Well, you know, Randy had proposed that he have a class where they have to use Vortex parts. It's going to be named the Vortex Light Series, and I thought that was really cool. We want to see these up and coming. You know, kids having a, an opportunity, something cool for them. And so when Randy came here and he said, you know, I'm going to do this race series and this is going to be big and I got all these sponsors involved and I'm building a VIP area to watch the races. I'm doing full videos. You know, you know, I was I was amazed and I was like, wow, that that's really cool. Well, absolutely do it because, you know, the grassroots that's where you know we have to sell parts to pay the bills so the up-and-coming riders that are buying the stuff you know it's important for us to help them out you know we do sponsor local guys with uh, discounts and we have some guys we'll give a few parts to and so I was you know pleasantly surprised when I saw you know the turnout and you know I've gone to a couple of events and, and the racing is great you know it's it's real competitive, you know, there's some really fast kids out there and, you know, so it was a great fit for us to, you know, support the local track and, you know, it's close by, so, you know, Randy put the event together and, you know, when I first went there and after he rebuilt, you know, his viewing area and the way he had all the video production going on, it was, I was amazed, you know, so it was a great fit for us. That's right, RealMotocross.com Sponsors Cup. Coming up next, Moto number one and the big, big story in practice, Corey Keelon over a second faster than everyone else. One rider having some problems right there by the gate. It's Ian Hill, it will be 128. Fun bike center, Hus drilling Honda as I called it. I mean, that was a lucky guess, but Corey Keelan's right there in second on the Kissimmee Motorsports Majestic Jeweler back Kawasaki. Look at oh, Robert, Robert that Bat. back coming up the inside, not showing he can't be pushed around. Knocking Keelan out of the way. Where did Devin Bat? He just hit Millet, put, puts Millet off the track, puts oh. Devin Bat down. Now Corey Keelan gonna come around and lead the first lap. Ritter now gonna be all over Millet as Millet having some problems with his bike. Robbie Ritter now in his second spot. Where did he come from? Talimacy now around Millet. Millet definitely have some major problems with his bike. The guy having to start, he does want is Corey Keelan leading around on that 310 Kissimmee Motorsports Kawasaki. And then where did Robbie Ritter come from? Borrowing a bike. Oh, outside going over the berm. Uh, he did show some speeds a little bit in the first two laps of this moto. Maybe that else, that's, maybe that might be the only. Renner goes oh. down. Renner drops his bike, drops at Honda. He's going to go from second and lose all those positions. And now that's going to give Keelan a huge gap. But looks like Corey's definitely got the track uh, dialed in. He's got some good lines. Uh, he was saying earlier that it's something that this is not a track that you can override. If you just go out there, find some good lines, and run, put in some consistent laps, you might be able to do good. But now the biggest battle on the track is the for the third spot as Gaboyan all over Ian Millett trying some different lines, and that's your battle for the third spot. Gaboyan is actually putting in some great laps on that team, as I'm surprised that he's able to match the pace of Ian Millett. But Ian Millett said he had, he'd only ridden today from last week, so it's a little bit of tough for him to not miss a whole week of ride, but Gaboyan is definitely putting in the pace. Andrew Stalker all over him. Stalker gonna pull up side by side over the double. He's gonna go around the outside. This is a good battle for fourth, and now Robert Devon on back joins the fight. White flag out now for the Kissimmee Motorsports back rider of Corey Keelan. Tyler Levinsey on the RealMotorcross.com Kissimmee Motorsports Kawasaki. 
in the second spot. Ian Millett in the third. There you go. Two photos in a row now for Keelon. Keelon grabbed a convincing moto win, picking up where he left off at round one. Ian Millett headed back to the truck with a respectable third place and the whole shot bonus money. Both riders escaping collision with Devon Albat. Showing no fear, Robert jumped into the mix of the Sponsors Cup moto and immediately switched back to the smaller 250F in preparation for the Vortex Lights main event. Pup Watley, who had been resting since his heat race win earlier in the night, waited patiently for the main event and to show the reigning champ what the coming season had in store for him. One rider stuck in a gate, and it's a Honda. It looks like Pup Watley coming through. And it is Pup Watley with the whole sight. A perfect night so far for that rider out there on the unlimited images. Action Honda, KTM rider in second. I don't know if that's a Hampshire or a Devil or Bat, but he's coming up quick. And it is RJ Hampshire with a great start on that BTS Sports KTM. It's followed by the 114 of Westbrook, Barty Colangelo, and then Andrew Stalker. Look at Pup Watley as he is bringing all kinds of confidence. So far, having a perfect night. Fastest qualifier, whole shots, heat racing wins, and whole shot in his main event. I tell you, this is a quick race, but you can't count out Robert, Robert Devitt, I'll bet. That guy's going to hunt. He wants to take that number one plate all the way to the front. Look at these two leaders up for oh, oh Hampshire, Hampshire down. Yeah, Hampshire snags that inside. Gonna go down. There's his teammate Devil of Bat getting around the stalker, gets around a walker. McFarlane. So Hampshire gonna go from second all the way outside the top ten. Very unfortunate for him as he was looking for the win and goes down. Yeah, we'll see the battle is for third now as Bernie Colangelo. Out there on the 612 Morgan X-Series ride, followed by the Jared Jackson on the BPM race engine Honda. And then there you have Robert Devil Bat, our defending champion, on the BTS Sports KPM. Coming up hard now, and Devil Bat and Jackson side by side now. Coming up. Whoa, they're going to hit right before the finish line. They are having their own battle for fourth spot as Devil Bat. Definitely more aggressive this year in the 2011 season. Jackson and Devin Bat have uh, separated here a little bit as we are getting a white flag now. One more lap to go for the Vortex Lights round one as the battle definitely is for the fourth position. Devin Bat trying to do anything he can to get around the BPM race engine of Jared Jackson. Pup Watley absolutely unstoppable here. Perfect night for him as he has just brought all that confidence from the last round and has kept it going. That's right, on a Honda, there you go. Watley wins, Westbrook, and then Devin Bat gets around Jackson in the last corner. So great pass by Devin Bat, going from fifth to fourth, the last lap. Pup Watley ran away with the main event capping off a perfect night with a fast qualifying time, heat race win, main event win, and the whole shot. Pup starts his season with the points lead and a positive outlook to next week for round two. For Robert Devin Albat, his less than stellar moto couldn't be dwelled upon for long as he once again had to make his way to the gate for Sponsor Cup Moto 2. RealMotorCross.com Sponsors Cup Motor Number 2 as we are only moments away from finding out our overall winner. All the riders lining up in the gate right now, packing down that gate.
Off the gate, it's a Cowie. Couple riders going crazy through there. Devil to bat looks like he's gonna squeeze in a second. That is uh, Tyler Livesey with the hole shot on that real motocross Kissimmee Motorsports back Kawasaki. Kilo back and forth. But that was Ryan Jessup that was yeah, hammering Ryan for Jessup. that hole shot as he wants to run up front and show that he's got the speed to finish on the box. Tyler Livesey, like I said, a second in the first motor is just as good as a win as he's doing exactly what he needs by leading around this motor number two. I tell you, the Fun Bike Center Hush drilling bike of Ian Millett didn't get the start that he wanted. Looks like Tyler's kind of cruising around. It doesn't look like he's riding too aggressive. As uh, maybe he's just got off to the right start for this motor and is All able right, to All right, Keelon around the outside of Jessup. Now Corey Keelon into a party position in the third spot for this moto. Does he have enough time? Does he have enough speed to catch our front two? Look at Robert Devil on bat all over the rear wheel now of Tyler Livesey on the realmotocross.com Kissimmee Motorsports Kawasaki. Yeah, Corey's got a, he's got his hands full right now. He's only got a couple laps left. He's got to run it. To get this win, to win the overall, he's got to run down Lucy. Look at Keelon now. Ran down Robert Devin on the bat. Bat Middle makes line. a mistake here right before the finish line. Keelon going to go to the inside. Can he make it happen? He's going to take Devin on bat off the track. Corey Keelon in the second. Where did Corey Keelon come from? He has ran down the leaders already in his second spot. Livesey, if he stays here, he's going to get the overall win. Tyler Livesey is not riding aggressive right now. As you can tell, he's just trying to be smooth, but makes a mistake. These corners are just so blowed out right now. Coming White out. flag coming out. One more lap to go. Keelon tries to make a move. Not going to happen. He's going to lose a little bit, but makes a mistake here up on the tabletop. Here we go, one lap to go for the RealMotocross.com. Overall, Keelan gonna try to go around the outside now, Livesey. Unbelievable, as one makes a mistake, the other one makes a mistake. Livesey, hold it on, can Keelan get around him? I'll tell you what, Corey's not gonna let let off. Corey Keelan all over him, Livesey makes a mistake, they're gonna be side by side over the step up. Still Livesey, one more corner to go, what's Corey gonna do? And it's Tyler Livesey with the Rutter winning overall on the Kissimmee Motorsports back Kawasaki followed by another Kissimmee Motorsports rider of Corey Keelan. Unbelievable main event. Corey just showed that he's got mass amounts of speed. Slow start, but then you picked it up and uh, you fastest guy on the track. Uh, you made it really close there at the end. Yeah, uh, got a really, really bad start. Uh, I kind of hit the gate a little, jumped a little bit early, but uh, just went out there and uh, rode smart and rode smooth and uh, tried to get in the groove and ride as fast as I could and catch all the guys in front of me. Uh, Got on Tyler real good at the end and uh, just ran out of tear offs and uh, won really many places to pass. But uh, ran down real hard and uh, he rode good. Devin all about real good. All them guys were good. Uh, oh yeah, I threw the anchor for sure. I don't, I don't know if I could have won the beginner class in those last two laps, but uh, I was just trying to hang in there. It's been a while since I've been up front. And honestly, it's been a while since I've really ridden consistently. So the nerves got to me a little bit, but luckily I was able to keep composure and, and take the win for real motocross. These guys helped me out a ton. If it actually wasn't for them, I a sponsors cup guys wouldn't be getting paid. So. Tyler and Corey swapped moto scores, resulting in Tyler with the overall win. Corey put a charge on during the second half of the moto, but came up short of the win. His speed and ability to ride on the edge of disaster, nothing short of spectacular. Next week, new additions to the field including longtime pro Troy Adams and Canadian superstar duo the Medaglia brothers along with national champ Colton Fasciati try their hand in the sponsor cup class. The lights class will be back as well with Pup Wally trying to make it two in a row in the second round of the series.